Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Nita with Nita's Fluid Woodworks. Uh, today we're gonna be refinishing a bathroom sink with epoxy. Um, first things first, we're gonna mask off anything that we don't want overspray on. And I mean, we took our time on the, the base of the sink, the basin, so we don't wanna have to go back and redo that. So just, I used a fine line painter's tape um, to get that that crisp line there in the bottom and then I just kind of went over it with plastic and uh, masking tape to connect the painters tape and the plastic so get that covered up and then um, make sure that your base coat whatever base coat that you're using um, you're gonna get the back of that painted now you're gonna also want to use a bonding primer I used sticks stix and then I painted white over that. So these are the colors that I used. Um, they're Rust-Oleum. It's I used Blossom White, Granite, Seaside is the teal color, and Winter Gray. I also used a mica powder called Battleship Gray and an opaque resin dye from Alumalite. Um, it's just a plain white one. So just make sure you mix your epoxy up really good. Um, scrape the sides, like make sure you get the sides and scrape the bottom of the um, cup and stuff. Here I'm heating it up because it was kind of the temperature had dropped and if the epoxy is chilly then it's really thick and it mixes up a lot easier if you just add a little bit of heat to it. You can either what I usually do is just like soak it in hot water um and that'll get it like the viscosity of it more thin. So just a little tip for you. Okay, so I'm spraying the back of that with the Blossom White because uh, the base color of this whole um, color scheme is white. And the other ones are just the spray paint and that uh, Battleship Gray Mica Powder over the white, but the base is white. So that's why I did that with the spray paint. There's a lot of mixing here. I kind of cut out a lot of it just because it's like seven minutes just of mixing. So, um, just like I said, know your epoxy, scrape the edges, scrape the bottom, and you should be all right. So that very little bit, that's going to be for the Battleship Gray, and that's going to be for the Base Coat White. The rest of it is extra. It's actually for a whole another project. Um, I'm going to pull out this blue. It's called Okiwana Blue. It's from Eye Candy. And that's the what I do my Michigan Petoskey Stone tables. If you haven't seen them, slide over to Nita's Fluid Woodworks on Facebook. They are so pretty. Um, everything that I put in them is from Michigan. I'll put a link in the description to direct you to that page so here you're just gonna lay the white down or whatever the base color of your choice is try not to get it to flood over the edges because once it starts going over the edges I mean you can't really stop it stop it but once it starts going there's no like stopping it there is people that uh, will mask around it just take um, masking tape or painters tape and actually put it around the edges so that way it can't go over the edges um, I'm adding a little bit more heat just to pop the bubbles and make it more fluid and that right there is the blue that I was talking about it's so pretty that's beautiful I love that blue everybody likes that blue so I'm filling in the cracks of the slabs that are over there Okay, I'm back. Now, what I did was I just made like a line of the battleship gray that's like the vein of it. And I messed up. My camera shut off. I am so sorry. But I'm going to show you what I did. So I took the battleship gray and I just 
made the one vein through there just like that. And then I grabbed winter gray and I sprayed it over the top just like that. And then granite and I sprayed it over the top just the same way. And here we're back on track. Um, I just take the paint stick and I go back and forth. Don't mix it too much. It is easy to mix it too much. And it's it's like just a happy medium place that you have to find. You'll get it. Just practice. Do some do some sample boards, practice boards, get some MDF, even some plywood. This doesn't have to be expensive to do. I mean the the products aren't cheap cheap but everything else you can kind of just get away with and that's the meaning of this channel is to show you how to do things at affordable prices without breaking the bank and to bring your art to life so I'm adding he and this moves everything around and it gives you more of a visual of what it's gonna look like um you get really cool effects with the heat gun more so than with a torch um, also with a torch you just use spray paint and spray paint is flammable so you're not gonna really want <laughs> to throw a torch on that right away so um, just kind of mix it until you get the results that you want every every piece is gonna be different there's no way to replicate something the same way twice now I'm just kind of opening the color up and showing some of that white underneath it and um, also I forgot to mention grab some isopropyl alcohol 91% I also saw um, Stone Cold Countertops do a tutorial with Everclear like the liquor because of COVID it's really hard to come across and there's Blossom White I need more white <laughs> Um, it's hard to come across alcohol and gloves and masks and everything else but they did a thing with um, Everclear alcohol and they actually got the same effects with Everclear as they did with rubbing alcohol so there's a thought I'm not gonna bring alcohol into our house though so um, rubbing alcohol is as good as it gets So I just kind of moved it around. I did the same thing for the um, bowl of the sink. I'll go ahead and put the video to that up next. I'm learning this stuff right now, so kind of bear with me. I think this took me like four days to make this video, and I know it's not the best, but I will learn, I promise. So just moving it around like that, like I said, it opens it up, it adds effects, you're just moving everything around with the heat gun and with your paint stick. Um, I had a couple dark spots that I wanted lighter, so I always leave a little bit of my base color in the cup. I mix extra. I know they say three ounces per square foot, but I go three and a half to four because I'm usually not satisfied with the way things come out the first time. So I like to play with my epoxy. And that's the Battleship Gray. And the different, like the mica powders and the Alumilite white, the opaque, um, it's like a liquid dye, and the Rust-Oleum spray paints, you get different effects from the different um, things that you use so you're gonna see a different effect from that mica powder than you are because I laid it over that um, the alumilite and me mixing it the way that I am is gonna cause cells and it's gonna break and it's not really gonna mix together the way the spray paints are and once you work with this for a little bit you're gonna know the effects that you're gonna get from the different products so like I said, just kind of do some sample boards and play a little bit, like grab, you know, a half gallon kit or a gallon kit or a couple of them. <laughs> I don't know how you're sitting, but so I'm just mixing um, the two, the white and the battleship gray 
to get the desired effect that I'm looking for. Also, don't hold your heat gun in one spot for a long time. And not even a long time. Don't hold your heat gun in one spot for like an extended amount of time because you're going to torch it and then your whole thing is just done. Like you're done. So to get the blue the way that I got it, I just, I don't spray it right on there. I spray my paint stick and I make sure that it has a little bit of epoxy on it and I just put it kind of where I want it and very very lightly now it's gonna move everything's gonna move so you can't really judge your piece right away because what you see right now isn't what you're gonna come like I think this was at maybe two o'clock in the morning so what I went to bed to is not what I woke up to The working time on this epoxy is an hour. Um, I've played with it for longer than an hour before, and I haven't had any problems. I'll say it again until I'm blue face. Know your know your product. Know your limits. If you get comfortable, push them. The reason why I know how long I can work with this is because um, the first time I worked with this epoxy, I wanted to know it said work time one hour I wanted to know can I work for that hour and if I can how long after that hour can I work now if you let it sit in the bucket this is from simple resin it's their clear top coat um, and I can work with this for hour I think I went back an hour and a half later and I just tried to play with it so it was a little bit tacky but once I put some heat to it um, I put the heat gun to it once I did that I it, it went right back fluid so like just keep that in mind if you're doing this outside and you get a bug in it or anything like that it's easy to just add a little bit of heat and a shish kebab stick or something like that and then grab it out because it's gonna it's gonna happen inside or outside it's gonna happen so here I'm moving the blue around a little bit I don't want to move it around too much the more you um, put the heat gun to it the more it's gonna mix and I want that to be a little bit vibrant I want the blue to stick out like it did in the bowl I'm gonna have to get better with my lighting <laughs> bear with me I've seen some people's first YouTube videos and uh, mine's not the best, but I promise you it's not the worst either. So here I'm just taking um, I think they're called craft sticks it's a popsicle stick to me and I just um, I'm kind of going through the blue to the color underneath to bring that up and that'll also create effects and then when you add heat to that then you get the cells and stuff and if you don't know what cells are they kind of look like if you look at a microscope, I think that's why they call them cells. It looks like skin cells or any kind of cells like that, or like a spider web type. A lot of people like the effects that cells bring, and that's where the alumalite white comes in because it's kind of oily, and it's not an oil based um, that I know of, but it is still oily, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, here there's like a little corner on the edge back there that didn't grab any color. So I'm kind of just taking the color that dripped down and I'm adding it right there so that way it blends and there's no blank spots. You kind of just want it to flow all together. So I'm just, like I said, taking the color that come right there. It's got the blue, it's got the gray, it's got the white. 
and I'm kind of just bringing it down over that edge and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So that's basically it guys. This is the end. Um, just remember that um, don't if you are disappointed the next day I mean you can always start over sand it down with some 120 or 220 you don't got to get everything off just scuff it up and try it again um so this is it this is what it looked like the night of and I'm gonna include some pictures of the morning after so if you got anything out of this and you think you'd be interested in learning some more and sticking with me, um, press like and please subscribe. Thank you.